So it's like a dating app. Right? <laughs> Tinder for skills, man. Yeah. Now we need to kind of hook up the back end to the front end, right? He thinks it's his toys in here. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> he thinks it's in there, dude. He's going to be so bummed out. So bummed out. Like when he put it in there, yeah. I put my hand and I intercepted it and I put it in my oh pocket. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Right now, like now he's like, where is the fucking car? He packed a fucking train. <laughs> or some oh, tractor shit. stuff, bro. Dude. Dude. He's gonna be bummed out, bro. My name is Caesar. He's a good kid. Good kid. It's uh Caesar Chanu Choi. So it's like three C's. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to go to the I don't want to go to the house. I don't want to go to the house. I don't want to go to the the principal over at that school, he got cancer. Yeah. So we have to move his daycare center by March. Mm. So we've been going and interviewing at night at these other places. Oh, damn. We got accepted into... Hold on. Everyone's always asking me about my monitor. Yeah. This is a smaller version of my monitor. Oh, really? This one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a smaller version of it. Yeah. I always say, like, you know, a day is like another day. But, you know, like in 2025, you can kind of make promises to yourself. This month, I'm trying to do dry January. Try not to drink. Lose some weight. Go back on looks max season. You know, level up. <laughs> Dude. And uh, just keep it going. Yeah. I got to start studying some more. <sighs> I got to study some new thing. I might get into Flutter. Flutter? Yeah. The thing is, like, I've done Flutter. Mm -hmm. And... I heard you can build faster with Flutter than React Native. So I might switch over to Flutter. It's just a lot of more, it's a lot more rules, yeah. right? And what I was used to using is like uh, Build Runner. But there's like these patterns and like it's very like, oh shit, strongly typed. Yeah. Flutter seems okay. Elixir, gotta get into Elixir. And that might be my stack, dude. Flutter and Elixir. Flutter, yeah, Flutter in the front end and Elixir in the back end. My stack right now is all Node.js, you know? React Native, um, microservices for back end with uh, Molecular and Mongo. But I might want to change it up this year. And just, uh, you know, it'll give me a reason to go to the cafe and study a little bit more. They're still going going at it. Like, what's the issue now? Like that that president was no longer the president anymore. But he still has followers. The people are protecting him, because the people that are protecting him are thinking like that North Korea is gonna like take over South Korea or something. Yeah, if he's out, oh, come on. I guess yeah. fucked. That's what they're saying. Okay, so we have a hash map, right? So we yes. can basically say, what I want to do is, um, I want to say one, true, right? When it comes in. Mm -hmm. And then I want to check if one exists in there. And if it does, then I don't need to add it. You know what I mean? Let's do new map, right? It's a data type. Mm -hmm. So if hash map dot has, and then we'll say const current equals array dot i or array I, I. If it has current, then I just want to continue. I learned this from Jocelyn. And then else, right? Um, yeah. Else, I want to do hash map dot set at the current to true, all right? Now at the end, I would like to console.log hash map. Can you run the code real quick? And do you see how it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero? Yeah. And it got rid of all the duplicates. So basically, what we're saying is, hey, if it's been seen, right? Mm -hmm. Don't do anything else. Hey, uh, just set it to uh, true. 
but a lot of people do it with an object and that would look more like this like this right or you can say new object or whatever you want and then um basically we can change the logic to more like if hash map or hash map dot has own property on the current only if that is false then we can say um, hash map at the current equals true and then we can just uh, return object.keys on the hash map and that should work and can you try to run it now then we just have to do a dot map on number and that should be that should get rid of all the duplicates if it's a yeah numbers you could actually do it many other ways too there's so many ways to remove duplicates but uh it's a common problem you'll run into that's isn't, crazy bro isn't this sick yeah that is pretty sick fucked up shit is like they sell these at the pharmacy yeah. oh, really? so you take your kid to the pharmacy oh my god and then they're like crying over the toy yeah 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 you know? they know dude they know Jesus. so now we can do add skill wanted so can you um test it out skill with no s because it's we're only adding one skill okay now let's turn it into a post request and then um we're gonna pass in and then right there uh can you put an api 3000 there you go and then put the rest of the path in uh, ID? Uh, no not here because this is a post request so now in the body we just need to pass in okay so what user so uh, i want me to want cooking okay so the user id of phil or the guest at gmail.com get the user id from there and then get the skill id for cooking and I want, I want that to be added. That one would be uh, skill ID, and that would be cooking. Okay, so you see the skills wanted got put in? Yep. Can skills, we actually go, skills yeah, can we actually please go into the, um, the Mongo and see how that looks right now? Yep. I don't know why skills provided is coming back as an object or array object. Because we stored it as a string. But we put the populates inside of the uh, settings. And I'm wondering if that get by ID is automatically transforming the document. We have to look in the users. Okay, it comes back. Do you see how skills provided becomes an object in the response? Because we added the logic. But we never added the logic for skills wanted, right? Okay, so we need to fix that. All right, so now inside of, add, uh, inside of the login user, we're gonna have to do something very similar. So here, we're gonna actually call this skills, skills provided. Now we gotta do the other way. Let skills wanted equal find user skills wanted. All right. If skills wanted so if it's not null we need to do the same thing objects. okay so now he wants so he this guy is uh, does web development and he wants cooking right mm -hmm. phil wants cooking okay now we need to add a skill wanted to a uh, web development to mini can you do that so add uh, skill wanted so you need to get his id and you need to get the web dev ID. That's that ID right there. I see it. It's on line 13. Okay. Okay. Can we take like a two minute uh, breather real quick? Mm -hmm. Be right back. Yep. Both of the people have skill wanted and skill provided now, right? Yeah. So now how the app needs to work is you need to find matches, right? 
So say that I walk in, right? I walk into the app and I provide a skill, right? I need to find people that need my skill and I want their skill, right? So how would I do that? Six hours later.